Setting up and using the Alcon Legacy 20,000 Wet Lab Fake Machine. First, I'd like to go over some basic rules uh, for use. One, you need to treat this machine as if it's your own, for a few reasons. Because it really is, and also because there is no service contract to fix it if it breaks. If this machine does break down for any reason, uh, we're out of luck. We don't have anything to replace it. And our other machines don't have uh, replenishable uh, fecal packs. So it's extremely important you treat all these uh, items carefully. Finally, you need to keep the wet lab very clean. Failure to comply with these simple courtesies or rules is going to result in your loss of privileges to use the wet lab. There are a few steps to basically set up the uh, fecal machine for use. I have the machine pictured here. You can see that the power cord and foot pedal are uh, generally wrapped up on the lower side of the machine. But in general, you'll uncover the machine, you'll bring it over to the appropriate position where you want to work, you'll turn the machine on after plugging it in, you need to place the FACO cassette or pack into the machine, hang the bottle of DSS, connect the tubing, prime the pack, uh, tune the needle, and then start FACOing. We're going to go over each one of these things in sequence, hopefully making it pretty clear how to set the machine up. Powering on is simple. After the machine has been plugged in, a simple press of the button will start the machine. You have to wait a few seconds and you'll start to see the computer boot up. And finally the Alcon uh, splash screen will uh, come on uh, and the machine should uh, soon be set to go. The other thing that's frequently uh, forgotten or overlooked is the IV bottle holder, IV pole bottle holder. This is a retractable arm that goes back into the pole. And sometimes if you forget, it's easy to start looking for this piece. Uh, remember that the bottle head can be adjusted by the panel buttons on the front. Again, we'll go over that later. However, it's easy to forget about those two features. Let's go over the necessary items that you need to gather before uh, starting to FACO. Uh, first thing you need to get is the FACO pack. Now make sure you choose a pack that's for the Legacy 20,000 FACO machine. There are also some packs for the AMO Sovereign machine, however we do not have a replenishable supply of these, and their number are also fewer. Therefore, if possible, try to always work with the Legacy machine. Next you'll need a bottle of BSS. If a bottle of BSS is not available, you can use a bottle or bag, rather, of fluid from the emergency room instead. It's generally easier to use a bottle, and I would prefer this method if possible. Finally, you need to grab the FACO handpiece, which should be available in one of the drawers in the wet lab. This is generally kept under lock and key, and if you do not have access to it, Mary Tandrup should be able to get it for you. Of note, we only have one FACO handpiece for the Alcon machine. Please be extremely careful with it, as it cannot be replaced. They cost many thousands of dollars. Inside a FACO pack, uh, there'll be three things. A little uh, container with the FACO needle and wrenches, as well as a test chamber. There'll be a FACO cassette with tubing and a sterile tray cover. In the FACO pack, uh, you will not really need the sterile cover, so we'll move that off to the side. Similarly, you really won't need the FACO cassette at this point, so I'll place that to the side. Take your FACO needle, take the little uh, tray that comes inside the pack, and open it up. Inside that little pack is a white test chamber, two blue silicone sleeves, and a little FACO wrench with an amber, or FACO wrench, which is amber in color, and a needle that's already preloaded in the wrench. Take the, the FACO wrench and needle, and... Uh, just insert it into the tip of the FACO handpiece and finger tighten it. If you over tighten it, you can strip the wrench, so try not to do that. If you don't tighten it enough, you'll get an error message when trying to prime the machine. So just snug it down uh, almost to finger tightness. You then need to cover the FACO needle with a sleeve, the silicone sleeve. Only one of the two sleeves will be able to fit on top and then uh, rotate or uh, turn down uh, onto the FACO handpiece. Once you've done this, you can take the FACO handpiece plug, uncap it, and then stick it into the machine. 
align the red dots on the FACO handpiece plug and the base of the FACO machine, and then directly insert the needle straight in. There are needles inside that FACO plug, uh, as pointed to in the video. These pins can be uh, damaged, and if they are bent or broken, the FACO handpiece becomes useless. So please be very careful inserting this. Do not apply excessive force when inserting the handpiece. This could bend the pins. To remove the handpiece plug, you gently pull the uh, plug out uh, in the exact opposite direction. Next, you'll take the FACO cassette from the, from the pack, undo the tubing, uh, and then insert the cassette into the uh, side of the FACO machine. Generally, you place the lower side of the uh, pack in first, and then gently uh, push the top of the cassette into the machine. It should snap or click into place. To remove the cassette, you just gently pull it out with an opposite motion. 